And you're on. Okay. Hi. Good morning. So today is Friday and I've decided to kind of do a randomish kind of Friday thing. And this involves me kind of just riffing and keeping it very relaxed because Wednesday is pretty taxing with the ADHD education stuff. Hopefully this gives you guys more of a glimpse in my life with ADHD. And yeah, maybe you can relate. Maybe it helps you. Okay. I'm without face yet. And I have a physiotherapist appointment today in about one hour, which means I should leave my house in half an hour, which are things that I learned only last year because I could never manage my time. I was always late. I was always, you know, missing out on a lot of things because I didn't prioritize my time. I didn't manage it. And everyone would just be like, can't you just be on time? And, and you know, I tried. I really, really tried. But... I could never, like, I would always be like, okay, I need one hour to do this and I need to leave the house at maybe like 5 p.m. So I should get ready at 4. But like, it never happened in time. Like sometimes, especially when I was feeling more depressed or overwhelmed, I would just lie in bed and scroll on Facebook and I would just not really notice the time going by. And it really got me more angry and sad. I don't know if any of you can relate but I had depression before or sometimes I think still comes back to say hi. Basically I, I would just feel so shit about missing stuff and then I would be like well I'm gonna be late anyway so what's the point in even like going right? So I missed out on a lot of social opportunities and a lot of like friendships I think and a lot of camaraderie. Um, I was also drinking a lot that time so I thought I had enough friends but we all know that friends that you only drink with you know they're not bad people but they're not gonna probably see you in the morning because everyone's really hungover. I just did the really quick Coloring Sensitive Cream, which is a tinted moisturizer by La Roche Posay. Got my usual Catrice concealer, and it's so good. I tried MAC before, but the bang to butt ratio of this is amazing. And tell me how you like this format. Maybe every Friday, I'll just do a face and then just riff and just record it and edit it because I pause a lot awkwardly in between stuff. And that would be my Fridays and Wednesdays. I want to have saved for education in terms of ADHD. Like next week, there'll be a quiz or kind of like a mini test on do you have ADHD? And next Monday, I want to talk about uh, me and Eric's fight and how we've been getting better at having discussions like adults, which is pretty exciting actually. I might change my Facebook display picture today because if you're a girl or a woman in transition and you don't cut your hair or you don't change your DP, are you really in transition, right? I am concealed, I am moisturized, and I will be diving into a casual look today for a physio. And I'm gonna use TARDIS again and I'm using Chic today because I want to be kind of friendly to the great person, whoever it is that treats me and figures out what is wrong with my left shoulder so if you didn't know my left shoulder on valentine's day and my left hand swelled to the size of a baseball and we ended up in the er after our lovely dinner and i think it's a posture thing and i practically live on my computer am i right it started swelling a lot here and then like it was like a big 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 lump and it's not because of my microchip like so they did a the jelly baby scan and it turns out it wasn't an infection because of the chip or my baby stick the doctor said it might be a compressed nerve at the back of my neck and I'm like, oh, fucks. But we finally are going to get it checked after about a week and the swelling's gone down, but I'm going to just keep quiet and draw my eyes because that's a challenge. Okay, close enough is what we aim for. So I hope that, you know, like Friday videos are for just people to listen to in the background while they get ready, while they get dressed up. And if you are getting ready or dressed up, those jeans don't make you look fat. But if you think they make you look fat, then wear something else. Don't overthink it. And if I look fat, I probably just feel fat or I might be bloating because of hormones, which also affect how ADHD medication rolls with you. So that's why women are a bit understudied when it comes to medication as it works in tandem with their hormones because we got good days we got bad days we got fun days we have horny days and we have days where we just feel like shit basically right and some days we feel super empowered and super hyped and super energized and nothing aches and nothing hurts and those are the best days. well now i am just using the morphe chubby shadow brush and i'm taking it into vintage and classic i'm kind of just like like blending it out ish i guess that's a word so i used to watch a lot of 
tutorials on makeup and I never got it. So I just kind of feel like you just do you, right? So maybe this works for someone if you're trying it out there, but I don't know. This is what it's like doing makeup with ADHD. You forget everything. I am gonna now remember to put my lip balm on. I was kind of worried about taking my medication today because I didn't want to waste the pill because that's so expensive. Uh, content warning, sorry. I kind of forget that mm, it's gonna improve my day and yeah, and not overthink it. Basically, 2020 is like, girl, don't overthink it or if you're overthinking it, just let it out of your face and let it go. Because if I have so much shit dancing around in my brain all the time, I can't afford to carry everything. Having ADHD is like everyone in life gets a bag of 250 marbles and like the bag's great and it holds their marbles and you have ADHD and you have like no bag and you have like, you're trying to hold your marbles and you're holding like 100 marbles with your bare hands and everyone's like, why can't you hold 250 marbles? And then you're like, but I can hold 100 with my hands, which is really, really great, right? For a normal person because those 250 marble people can't do that. But no one's recognizing you and that's how you feel because RSD, but you know, you're doing really well. And then when you take medication, it's like getting a bag with a hole. But you can still kind of hold your marbles more easily, although you never know whether you can hold more or not. Anyway, that's just something I read online and I was like, yes, my God, my life and my marbles. So now I'm going to contour with my contourish looking brushes like Fat and Flat by Morphe. And to be honest, I don't really know much about these brands. Like, I do enjoy going to Sephora. I think everyone does. But to me, it's like the same effect as a candy store. I'm taking a dark color, by the way. And it's like dark and it's like one, two, three, four. And this is the most non-precise makeup tutorial ever. And one day I might get reviewed by a professional and be like, oh my god, what you doing? But I feel nice. I feel comfortable. I'm doing my best. And I think that's how everyone should look at makeup. Because like, I cut a crease one time and I felt like God, right? Shit's hard. I really respect those makeup YouTubers. And this is for the girls who are just figuring shit out and want to look cute I'm using the second last color now and my logic is darkest color outside and then cheekbones from the top of my ear to about here ish maybe i'm doing it wrong comment if you have a better technique and then i use the medium color and as i do it thin side here i then flip it to the thick side right i do this because in my head it makes it more gradienty and like i don't know i'm a designer i use photoshop so i'm like yeah, let's do the gradient stuff okay and then we do the yellow like here and here and i don't know if i'm doing the under eye one like my dark shadows are there so maybe maybe just a little bit but today i'm not using the singing um concealer i'm using catrice which is the same brand as my little uh concealer the the cakey one i don't cream cream concealer there we go. And I'm using liquid camouflage, high coverage concealer, last 12 hours, waterproof, non-transfer, and porcelain number 10. And I am trying, if you saw in the previous video, to put out some Amazon links on the bottom. So if you do want to see what I'm buying, you can click through and use those. And I try to put some discount codes as well. And I do want to always try and stay like really, really transparent with these like crossover promotions and stuff. So I hopefully at some point will make some who change um if you click through to my link you don't lose anything but it would be really nice if you could do that if you wanted a product but if you find a better deal like just go for it right though i would do the same and also i was thinking of setting up a little patreon or a donation page because around this week or next week i want to oh, concealer brush anyway this week or next week I want to launch my art store and I am terrified but it kind of shows like this like other side of myself that has always lived in me and I've always been like oh I'm so ashamed of it why can't like I can't be both like hyped and loud and like you know brash I guess and also have like this like weird awkward side and like this quiet side where I do my art but at the same time yes I can and like who the fuck's saying I can't so so I'm gonna be launching that it's gonna be a different take on my stuff it's gonna be like quiet and surreal and a bit weird I might paint my face I might like spit out like glitter i don't know but like i always had that side of me and i've always been hiding it or i've showed it a little bit and everyone's been like why well, is a fucking weird dude and mm, i guess i don't want to live like that anymore i just want to be want to become um yeah and that's how i feel so that's going on and if i do start a patreon or a donations page i'd love if you could support it just to help with um me so i can to be honest i'm not gonna bullshit you but because i want to continue doing this for as long as i can i want to keep talking, keep living my life, keep sharing my story until people feel less alone. Because I got some pretty good messages out there and I'm not gonna say I got a lot of messages. I got like two messages last week, but it made my day because there were two girls out there who said I helped them and I made them feel less alone. And to me, like that's, I don't know, I've never felt anything so rewarding in my life. And 
I don't want to stop. So I hope that you guys help out. And yeah, if I could do this full time, all the time, I, I'd really like it. I really appreciate it. And I promise to keep always campaigning for better, for people to be better and treat it better and treat others better and exposure and just to speak up more for mental health and ADHD, Asians with ADHD and yeah. I just used Milk Makeup, the little red lipstick that I've used before and I'm using now Sephora Rouge uh, Cream Lip Stain in number 13 and it's really good but I won't say it's like transfer safe. So I kind of just put it on and I kind of like the gentle bee stung look so I wipe it off or I like rub my lips against it and then it's barely left-ish, right? But it's like a little bit pink and then I take the beige and I kind of the contour palette and I kind of and then I put some lip balm or well I use lip injection but I should use lip balm today because I want to be more chill so let me look for that and I misplaced it which is a daily part of ADHD life and it's just what it is and I found it and I used to get so mad when I misplaced something now I'm just like somewhere right also if you guys own a Google Home um and it's wired up to your assistant on your iPhone or your Android phone or whatever did you know Okay, I, I found out. Okay, if you lose your phone and you tell Google, Hey Google, help me find my phone. She, <sighs> I don't know if you heard it, but she said, No, no, no Google. But she said, she can make your phone ring at full volume. How great is that? Anyway, so that's something I learned and that's hopefully going to help someone out there. Because it was amazing for me and now I don't really lose my phone anymore. That's so good. But I think for that, if you have a Pixel, it helps. It's better. And if you have an iPhone, you have to wire it up differently. But check it out and let me know how you go. And I'm going to use Glam, which is like this like gold kind of kind of thing. And I'm just gonna put it on my lids because I do like a little shiny lid. She does love her shine. And I'm not wearing mascara today because it makes me feel clumpy. And yeah, so you um well I kinda wanna darken my, my eyeliner. I wanna set my eyeliner, I guess that's what it's called. And I'm going to use the eyeliner brush and dip it into i think smoke today just like this brown thingy and i'm just going on directly on the same line and try not to just like get it anywhere else and i'm using the angled eyeliner brush by morphe and i've put a link to a similar one there i don't know where the black and white one went but this is really old so maybe maybe it's got even better now okay so what do you think of this format should i ask you more questions while you put on makeup should i just imagine people like getting ready and say things like you look great or did you remember to bring extra tampons? Do you remember to pack your eye drops? Do you remember to pack tissue? Did you remember to drink water today? You know, things like that. Maybe. I don't know. I got super inspired by Google because Google tells me some like a tip about mindfulness and it's really actually worn off on me. It starts Monday really strong. Like, um, did you know if you feel stressed, clench, take a deep breath, clench all your muscles and then exhale and release it all. It's amazing. I mean, I am obsessed clearly with Google Home and if you've been watching this channel up till now, you know that already. She is my best friend. Well, I do have a best friend, but like, you know, she she's amazing and I really like her. And I'm just going to do a bit more of the chin stuff with the leftover dark color. And I'm going to do some eye drop stuff and it makes me immediately look brighter. And I'm just going to check the time as well, which I've gotten better at, but I want to get better, better at. It's 10.46 and we have spent a about 19 minutes doing our makeup so far. Thank you for watching this long. I'm probably gonna cut it shorter, so. This is my watch that I wear every time I go out. It's from Swatch. It's simple, it ticks very loud. A lot of people have an issue with how loud it ticks in the reviews, but I really actually enjoy the ticking because it's like kind of meditative to me. So I bought it for that and I love it so much. Okay, this is Q-tip and I kind of just lean up this side. I mean, you can use like water or some, something more professional, but, but you know, I'll get Let's be honest, we've all done this and we all do this sometimes. Okay, and the last thing I like to do is just to take just a little bit more of the yellow or the light colored contour thing and just kind of just make sure that there's a layer of powder so the liner doesn't fall down or stick. Yeah, now I'm gonna do my hair, which is basically not doing my hair. I'm gonna comb it. And how many times do you guys wash your hair? Because I wash it every day. Because I'm a freak, right? Because when I grew up in Singapore, like it was so sweaty and you wash it every day. But now it's cold and it's dry and you don't have to. But it's a habit now. But I know it's not great for your hair. So I use really gentle shampoo. I also get really dry scalps and like itchy, itchy scalp. I've just changed shampoo and it's done wonders for it. I like to do this because if you have the tendrils, it makes your face look smaller. And I hope that it helps someone out there. 
and just want to do a cash cash double pole so i do like a like a one thingy here and i kind of try and pick the to be honest i think looking casually disheveled is like my thing because it really sets the expectation for everyone to be a little more comfortable i think if i look more chill i don't know maybe i'm just overthinking because i do that okay so i do like one thing here and i use these because they don't rip your hair out as much and i kind of do another pony here at the bottom and i realized like if you don't have adhd and you watch this you must be like but if you do i hope like the rambling helps you focus because sometimes if i hear a podcast in the background the rambling actually helps me focus a lot my head looks square here and i don't know why i don't like it so again the higher the hair the closer to god and this is my physio hair in case i have to do some exercises and i guess sadly i will have to put on a bra because i don't want to make people feel awkward even though people shouldn't feel awkward and i was gonna put it on from the outside because i can't i don't want to lift up my shirt and stain my my top that's annoying you know you know what it feels like if you know what it feels like if you don't know how to do it you kind of like buckle it around your waist and then you just kind of like drag the straps on from underneath and then when you're home you can take it out from one sleeve but i have ocd so i kind of feel like it will stretch one sleeve so i just do it like this in reverse anyway and there you go it's in it's from uniqlo and it's so comfortable if you haven't gotten uniqlo underwear or panties or bras or boxers if you're a guy oh you want to get on it it's like a second skin like it's not the sexiest but it's the most comfortable and sometimes that's more important than being cute and i really believe in that so you can still get your push-up bras and stuff from like the good like the cute brands but for everyday stuff just do it right so i'm trying out the flawless mist and fix matte finish by barry m and so far it's been good other than the fact that it smells a bit like stale beer i don't hate it it doesn't cause my skin to react my skin is so sensitive i'm also wearing uniqlo heat pet today and these are just things that if you did not know they're really good they keep you really warm and they're really thin and you can barely see them i'm just gonna just say little things that maybe you don't know about i'll put a link below to them and you don't have to there's no affiliate link but if you get a first purchase online on the web store i think you get ten dollars off depending on when you are so that might be good but saving money is great and we should all save money more and having adhd i'm very bad at impulsive spending and i'm slowly learning how to manage money and be less impulsive with it and have a spreadsheet for the things that i spend in life and a, and a saving sheet as well yeah i guess that was that was the first random friday ever and i hope to see you guys next week um mondays i kind of want to do like a rundown or like a little touch on an adhd thing but in my personal life wednesdays i kind of want to do more adhd education stuff so next week is the do you have adhd quiz on wednesday and on fridays i want to keep it more casual maybe it's makeup but to be honest like trying to stick to those like two schedules on monday and wednesday already is like overwhelming for me with adhd because i'm scared i fail or i scared i lose steam but i'm gonna keep trying so i think on fridays i'll keep it freeform i might even call it freeform fridays hopefully remind someone out there or anyone out there that you know do your thing but don't take it too seriously or do your thing seriously and take yourself seriously but don't beat yourself up if you don't do it the same way that you plan to because you're a perfectionist and you're fucking crazy and you think you only have to do the best all the time because you're human and that will kill you so don't do that right um yeah so i hope you enjoyed today's video i kind of just rambled it's more of those like you know mm, girlfriend in the corner putting on makeup as you put on makeup as you get ready for your day that kind of that's the kind of vibe i want for my friday videos um thank you for watching hit subscribe hit like comment share i don't know what i want to call my channel url when i do get the chance to change it but you know i'll take it as it comes and i'll probably just ruminate in the video as well so thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week